so let us talk about text mining now this uh, text mining is we have a large amount of text information that may be analyzed in a different manner like uh, it can be analyzed objectively and efficiently with this uh, text mining so text mining has uh, been a buzzword and has received a lot of uh, attention due to ever increasing need of managing the information that we already have in vast amount in uh, in the form of uh, text documents so let us uh, see why text mining there is a difference between searching and text mining searching is what you have your uh, search page you type something which you already know and you just press a search button and all the links, all the data, all the information that is related to it is in front of you. But what about text mining? Text mining is about discovering unknown information. The information that is not yet known or that, that has not yet been created in some certain form. So this is text mining. Uh, the text mining... Uh, Actually, the objective of uh, this particular uh, aspect is to exploit information contained in textual document in different ways, which includes discovery of patterns. Please remember, discovery of patterns and trends and association among entities, predictive rules, and so many to say. All these things are there in your document, right? Now there has to be a way in which you can discover all these things. This is all about text mining. There are various methods of text mining, a data mining style. This is view text as high dimensional data. For this, we you know generally pattern finding is done. Frequent pattern are there, so pat frequent pattern they are found, and the analysis is done for the association. Also the outlier detection in data mining style and second is information retrieve style. This is another method. This is to find granularity topic analysis. This topical granular topic means you have a fine granules, fine granules, you know, very small sized and for that you have some topics so these fine granules topic analysis is done via topic extraction. Every paragraph or every every content has some or the other topic. So topic extraction and exploiting term weighting and text similarity measures. Weighing the term, giving weight to the term and then uh, text similarity measures and then question answering. This is information retrieval style. Then natural language uh, processing style natural language that is uh, information extraction this is through entity extraction or some relation extraction or sentiment analysis other is machine learning style this is somewhat semi-automatic unsupervised or supervised learning this is being used in various fields like image processing etc uh, machine learning style is uh, via generative models via dimension reduction and classification and prediction then test mining task for that uh, exploratory data analysis there information extraction text classification exploratory data analysis is using text to form hypothesis about some disease for example and information extraction is uh, semi automatically as i just indicated creating uh, a domain specific knowledge basis and then use standard data mining techniques like uh, bootstrapping methods and then text classification uh, useful intermediate step for uh, information extraction this is like bootstrapping method using em and the applications are you know spam uh, there are various spams which are which usually uh, you find 
while you are browsing or while you are doing internet searching or reading something you have very spam the filtering of spam monitoring of public opinions customer service email support automatic labeling of documents in business libraries and fraud detection by investigating notification of the claims these are the text mining trends 30% of text miners 34% to start text mining and 36% not to plan text mining text mining uh, processes you have a data warehouse now in this data warehouse you have metadata uh, indexed ms word reports data warehouse operational data store so these uh, are where your documents are stored now data is extracted from this data warehouse text mining is done and reports are generated again this is an input and this is a closed loop feedback for continuous evaluation of text mining results and we have text mining resources also like uh, you know university research uh, production uh, activities where uh, which create an article uh, publication like peer review editing of submitted articles distribution like transport and uh, marketing then access that is provided by university and libraries excluding uh, you know this sub charges etc consumption user search print and reading cost so all these are text mining resources and data uh, this uh, data access feature extraction and text processing capabilities are all text mining features then text mining and data mining these are very similar concepts so data mining is identifying the data sets selecting the features preparing the data and analyzing the distribution while text mining is identifying the documents first extracting the feature select features by certain algorithm prepare data and then analyze the distribution there is uh, some difference between these two so approaches uh, to tech this text mining is using well tested methods and understanding the results of text mining we have black box approaches to text mining the extraction of concepts and text mining as document search so this is a very short uh, brief introduction which i wanted to give uh, text mining is a uh, uh, burgeoning means uh, growing rapidly technology that is still because of its newness and in intrinsic difficulty in a fluid state like uh, you know the state of machine learning in mid 1980s so generally accepted characterization of what it covers uh, does not yet exist but still this is a promising uh, and uh, you know growing technology and i i guess in near future people will be you know serious about this because there will be increasing data in because papers are dying out everything is either scanned or in the text format so text mining has to be there thank you so much take care